Previously, you may have used the word particle to describe small things that make up substances. In this video, we're going to look at what those particles might actually be. And we could be talking about atoms, elements, compounds or mixtures. So let's start off with atoms. Atoms make up everything. If you think of any object, whether it's living or non-living, it will always be made up of atoms. So coins, for example, made up of atoms. So are cats. And so are clouds. Absolutely everything is made up of atoms. Different types of atoms are called elements. There are around a hundred elements and we display these in the periodic table. There may be some words that you recognise here. For example, you may recognise the element oxygen. You would have perhaps heard of chlorine before. And I'm sure there's some metals that you recognise, for example, maybe iron and copper. Gold is an example of an element. If you were to pick up one bar of gold, it would be only made up of one type of atom. It could be found here in the periodic table. If we were to draw an element as a particle model, it might look a little bit something like these examples. These two would be gases, and this one would be a solid. But they'd all be an element because they're made up of only one type of atom shown in the diagrams by having only one coloured circle in them. This, for example, might be the way that we represent the solid gold. Moving on to compounds, the definition for a compound is two or more elements chemically bonded together. So there are different ways that these elements can combine to make a compound. One example is the compound sodium chloride, which is the chemical name for salt. Sodium chloride is made up of sodium and chlorine chemically bonded together. So this time it's not just one element, it's two different elements chemically bonded together. If we were to draw a model to represent a compound, we'd need to show that it's made up of two or more elements and that they were chemically bonded together. So to recognise a compound, you would look for two different colours or two different shapes used in the diagram and you'd look for them to be bonded together. So all of these examples are compounds and look out for them trying to trick you out with these ones. This is still a compound, it just has three different examples within the same box. The properties of a compound are very different from the properties of the elements that make up the compound. Water is made up from hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen and water are gases at room temperature, whereas water has a higher boiling point and is a liquid at room temperature. Oxygen is needed for things to burn, whereas water is used to put out some fires. So this is an example where the properties of the compound, in this case water, are actually very different from the elements that make up the compound. Moving on to mixtures, the definition for a mixture is two or more elements or compounds that are not bonded together. So in this example we've got one, two, three compounds and an element all together but they are not bonded together. Again here we've got two different types of compound, one there and one there. They are in the same container or the same area but they are not bonded together so that is a mixture. Air is a good example of a mixture because it contains things such as nitrogen, oxygen, water vapour, methane, all of these different elements and compounds but they are not bonded together. And finally you may see the word molecule used as well. The definition for a molecule is two or more non-metal atoms bonded together. 
So you find the nonmetals on the right hand side of the periodic table over here. So two or more non-metal atoms bonded together make up a molecule. So oxygen, for example, goes around in pairs, O2. So this diagram could be re representing two oxygen molecules, one here, O2, and another one here. Previously, we talked about water, H2O. H is also a non-metal, but, but it sits on its own in the periodic table. So hydrogen bonding with oxygen to make a water molecule. So a molecule could be an element, for example, O2, or it could be a compound, for example, H2O. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSErevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.